Okay, this is a video of some waterfalls. Actually, the one waterfall that I built. I have other videos of other waterfalls explaining how those were done. So what happened here, this was a hillside. We had uh, dug like trails in the hillside, basically. And then I started the shoot for the waterfall. Uh, we went and got the material to do the waterfall. Uh, there's a couple breaks wherever there is a waterfall that has a pretty good pool in it, which would be like this one right here. Uh, that's where the break would be in the lining. So the pond starts, the, the inlet starts in way up here. You'll see a hose in the later photographs. Sorry, I don't have live video. A uh, hose going in and up there, coming down because I was testing it as I go. In this rough, this is a very rough install right now. Uh, you'll see in photographs, I'll point it out that I had used a um, concrete called Rapid Set. It sets up in 20 minutes. And in 20 minutes, uh, basically, you can run water over it. And I've done that. So after the stone was all set, after I dug everything out, I, we, it was a crew from my boss. 20 years ago or 15, whatever, I can't remember. Uh, we roughed it in, as we call it, the trail, dug that down, dug the trench down. Then I started gathering stone, rock, and just nature just throws rock at it. There's no guru stuff about it. So I started just placing rock around, making sure the falls would work. Then once I got everything how I thought it looked pretty natural and uh, no waterfalls the same, of course. And I started doing the rapid set in these little falls. But I think there's like 12 different falls in this. It was a very nice waterfall. Uh, okay, I am going to have to pause so I can find the next photo of this rough in before we get plants and stuff. Okay. Now, this is the bottom of the fall where the pond is right here. You can see the pond, the whole thing. And you can see how it's all roughed in down to the bottom. Now, this is a view standing up on top of the deck, looking down the fall. Now, what has happened here after the rough cut in and stuff, as you can see, I started placing stones along here. This white is that rapid set, sets up very fast. So when the water, it has no choice as it comes up, because I, I mortared under the rock into this vinyl material that's like a car inner tube, very durable stuff. And up on the other side, as you can see. So as the water fills in here, it has no choice but to run over this rock. And as it did, it went down to the neck, down the these are mortared on the side because at a certain place standing out here in the yard, you could literally see like you would be standing next to a river. You could see the water running by and then down the next fall and down it would go all the way. Now, this is with the fall running. Actually, we were, I remember right, the top photo will show there's a hose running in it because we're filling it. And I was using the hose at the very top to fill it and let the water run down, checking the pond, leaks, what have you. As you can see, we started doing the landscape with the rock walls, terracing everything. This is all, like I said, photos. They were downloaded on the computer. I finally found the photos after... 2017, fire had to evacuate, then evacuate the following year and evacuate again and evac evacuated three times. It, stuff got all over the place from evacuating, then put into storage, and that's when we started finding stuff. So these are steps we did out of rock. We had to move some rock. Some of us pretty heavy. So you could get up to the top. This other side had steps on it too. So you could kind of maintain, keep the leaves out of the little creek <laughs> probably doing this a little backwards now you can see the water actually coming down from the top i actually 
had a hose running down. It did not. They kind of wanted a feature like that, like it was falling out of the air into this. This is a second landscape we have done for this gentleman. He was in one house. We did landscape there. They sold that, moved into this one. The one house we did prior to this had a cool water feature. I never got photos of it. It was in the beginning of working for this gentleman. Uh, they bought a faucet or hose bib or some water thing from the middle town square in Italy and we made a water feature out of that too. It was kind of neat. Anyways, back to this. Uh, I wish I had pictures of me doing this, but the pictures of my house, you can see me roofing it and stuff. Anyway, years ago. Uh, yeah, so filling it and like I said, doing little so you could maintain it. Okay, so this is the end of the video for this waterfall. Thank you for watching. Uh, it starts up here, ends down here. Um, didn't get the final photos of the landscape when uh, we were done. It was covered in azaleas. It was really neat when it was in bloom. Uh, just awesome. We did the retaining wall in the back, the deck in the back. We did a ledger off the garage, rebuilt the deck, brought it all out this way. That was the photo you see uh, from the top of the deck, which was in the other one. Uh, again, sorry about the grainy video. This is coming off of a uh, off of a laptop, a new laptop LED. So, um, thank you for looking. Enjoy. I wish I had video video of a moving water. I'll have to do a quick quick throw together if I can for a demo. Thank you for looking again. Be safe.